Hello YouTube, here's a, another painting video. This one will be another abstract, kind of a little bit modern abstract. So today I was walking, taking some pictures from my Zazzle site, and I was down Main Street, down here in the city, in San Francisco, and somebody came up from behind me and pushed me into the street very violently, and I fell to the street and screwed up my elbow right here and they tried to grab my camera and they took a big chunk out of my finger there and messed up my right hip badly. But the good news is they did not get the camera or my wallet and I'm still alive, so cool. So this painting might reflect this very incident. So let's um, I'll show you the colors I'm using. Alright, here we go. We're using these, this, and uh, this. So gold, a couple of shades of gold, red, uh, blue-green, and cadmium orange. I'm also using some golden uh, gray. Here's the camera that they tried to take. It's a uh, Canon 210, just a kind of an inexpensive couple year old camera. There's the damage from the street, and it still works. Alright, what am I doing about the pain and all that? Well, this is called, uh, this is a special tea, which has powdered turmeric, fresh ginger, and boiled water, and you can see, and this is really good for getting rid of inflammation. For the hip problem, I'm also using these ice bags. I put these in the freezer, and they're really cold, and they, uh, they do uh, a very nice job of getting rid of the, uh, the uh, soreness. So there's what we have so far. Alright, it's been several days since the uh, last time I talked to you on the painting. I haven't worked on it much. I, uh, I was trying to kind of recover. Everything seems to be okay and I'm recovering. I have a few scrapes here and there on my elbow and on my knee. but. All in all, it's pretty good. So here we are on this painting, and I'm trying to start the marbleizing, trying to get it to look sort of marble. I like the way it's starting to look some places, and some places I'm, I think I'll uh, go back to the other way. So let me show you a close-up of this. This area here I'm not so excited about yet. This one I like a lot. As I'm painting this, I'm watching the uh, Occupy uh, movement um, doing their Oakland protest today. Is the uh, Shut Down Oakland Day. And I'm really surprised at how many people have turned out. I'm watching the live feed on the, um, on the internet. you can see on this side they've got huge amount of people a huge amount of people I'd say several thousand and they go for miles they're, they're headed over to Oakland port to close it down it got violent earlier it looked like the uh, police had taken off their uniforms and just put on black and started breaking windows um, that seems to have quit and now the majority of them are headed over to the uh, Oakland port to close it down. What's going on? I've got to go to the uh, farmer's market and pick up some kale and uh, continue on with the icing and the painting. Okay, as you can see on this screen, the people have arrived. The truck, these, this, a whole bunch of trucks here tried to make a move to get through the port and they've now been stopped. 
the thousands of people have now arrived. This is another gate where they're still getting through. Um, not enough people there yet. It's a huge place to try and uh, shut down. Have you taken your money out of the corporate banks and put them into the credit union? Hopefully. Go to the uh, farmer's market shop. Get your art supplies from people like me, small little independent guys who have nothing to do with the corporations. Um, it seems as though I'm not going to get much painting done with all the excitement going on. I really want to get to this part here where the um, I'm going to put some darker black in here, some black and blue, some of this bluish. So much going on. Let's take another look. Quite a crowd. This is the best way to shop. This way you you actually vote every time you shop or eat by not spending money in a corporate box store. So take a look in your area and look for one of these farmers markets. They're usually all summer because we're having unusual weather here in San Francisco. Here it is almost Christmas and we're still in tank tops. <laughs> How you doing? Good. So Anyway, back to the painting. Okay, I'm back. Protest is still going. Six o'clock at night. And we're gonna mix some some paint. Oh, my glasses look very crooked. <laughs> Let's mix some paint. Not really sure that's dark enough. We'll try it anyway. We can always darken it. Uh, I'm not going to mix it perfectly because I don't like that. Now, what are we going to do with this small brush? Let's see if I can't get a point on it. It's finished. I'm happy with it. This painting was more about trying to blend uh, acrylics from one from a dark to a, a lighter color. Um, I tried to blend both gold onto blue, um, reds into black, uh, yellow and orange into black. This one's going to be called Black Lightning. Let me get some close-ups for you. Let's see where I was. You can see here where I was um, trying to blend there and over here. Um, I like the way this one turned out. It was quite fiery. Several coats of paint. So there it is, black lightning. I did it through being mugged. We saw a riot over in over in Oakland where the police took off some of their uniforms and uh, caused quite a mayhem. They uh, also reportedly uh, beat up another uh, veteran and it doesn't look like it's going to end anytime soon. Um, this painting here was um, in preparation for the next one, or the one after the next one. And I'll give you a little little peek of what the next one looks like so far. That's it. That's your peek. <laughs> eight inches by ten inches. Stretch canvas. Till the next time.